Hey, it's Pastor Joe here. It's time for our Tuesday e-blast. Give me just a few minutes of your time. Uh, got a few things to share with you. I got a scripture in my heart and mind I want to tell you about today. This is a passage from Matthew 5. We're all familiar with the Sermon on the Mount where Jesus says in verse 13, you are the salt of the earth, but if the salt has become tasteless, how can it be made salty again? It's no longer good for anything except to be thrown out and to be trampled underfoot by men. You're the light of the world. A city set on a hill cannot be hidden, nor does anyone light a lamp and put it under a basket, but on the lampstand, and it gives light to all those who are in the house. Those are words from Jesus to the church today, especially that tells us the impact of our life and the importance of living our life in a way that makes a difference in other people's lives. Think about it, the salt. I mean, I'll be talking about that more on Sunday morning, just a kind of a preview of that, just but a very small preview. The salt is definitely a change agent. It changes the very taste of food. It, it's used as a preservative. It's even used to tanning hides. It's, it's used to make chlorine. I mean, uh, uh, there's so, so many Im, uh, uh, impacts that salt has. And Jesus is saying, hey, you're the, you're the salt. You're the one who's supposed to be making a difference in the culture and the community. That's each and every one of us, not just the preacher, not just one or two. Uh, it's, it's, it's everybody who knows Christ Jesus. God has done a work in your life that makes you different. It also makes you obvious. You say, what do you mean? You, you can't miss the fact that, that when you put salt on something, it's obvious. You can't miss the fact that when it's dark in the room and someone turns a light on, that it's that things become very clear and made known. It's just, he says, it's like a city that's set on a hill. You cannot be hidden. In other words, you should accept the change that God has done in your life. If anybody's in Christ, the Bible tells us they're a new creature. We need to accept the change that he's done in our heart and life. And I pray you have an attitude today of saying, hey, I'm here to make a difference. I'm here to, 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 to enhance and to, to bring life and to season the culture that I'm in with grace and with, and with the presence of God. There, there's this, this statement I, I found years ago from a guy named Elihu Barrett, and he wrote this, no human being can come to this world without increasing or diminishing the sum total of human happiness, not only of the present, but of every subsequent age of humanity. No one can detach himself from this connection. There's no sequestered spot in the universe, no dark niche along the disk of non-existence where you can retreat from relations with others, where you can withdraw the influence of your existence upon the moral destiny of the world. Everywhere his presence or absence will be felt. Everywhere he will have companions. Who will be better or worse because of he, him, picking you or me? Who's going to be better or worse because of our life? He goes on to say, It is an old saying and one of fearful and fathomless statement of import that we are forming characters for eternity. Forming characters? Whose? Our own or others? To which he answers both. And in the momentous fact lies the peril and responsibility of our existence. Who is sufficient for this thought? Thousands of my fellow beings will yearly enter eternity with characters differing from those they would have carried there had I never lived. The sunlight, the sunlight of that world will reveal my finger marks in their primary formations and their successive strata of thought in life. What he's simply saying is we, we should be affecting lives every day. And we are, whether we realize it or not. We're either affecting them negatively or positively. We're either affecting them for God's glory or for our own purposes. But he, he's saying here that our fingerprints are left upon every relationship that we have. And Jesus is telling us the very same thing. He says, hey, you're in this world. You're not alone. There's no dark niche, as he says in this, 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 this comment. There's no place in the universe we can go hide and not impact ourselves. I mean, we can withdraw ourselves. We can social distance and all that kind of stuff. But our life makes a difference. It's going to be a righteous, godly, good difference, or it's going to be a negative difference. We can motivate people. We can encourage people today, or we can be a negative influence in life. We can just shut up and try not to say anything, do anything, and that leaves a negative mark. Realize who you are. Realize that you're a child of God. Realize that you're here for, for eternal purposes, and realize today is the day you're the salt in the light, and be that today. Let God use you to make a difference. That, that's the word I had for you today, and I believe that's a, a good word from the word of God. You're the salt. Let's be let's let's be flavorful. That's what we're that's what salt's for. And let's be the light. Like a city that's set on a hill. You can't be ignored. Your life is genuine. Your life is full of grace. Your life is filled with encouragement. Your life is filled with victory. Your life is filled with joy. Let people see that. That's what God has for you. Then you will then you'll 
put the right kind of fingerprints on their life to make a difference for God's glory. We'll talk, as I said, a little bit more about that Sunday. I've been working on some things there. I want to remind you of a couple things. This coming Sunday is the cutoff Sunday for the marriage retreat. If you haven't signed up, go online. Get, take care of this today. Quit putting it off. You know you want to be there. It's going to be a great time at Wild Ranch Resort and Hotel in Kerrville. It's right off the freeway in Kerrville on the left. All right? So you don't want to miss that. Also, I had a couple of other announcements. National Back to Church Sunday is Sunday after week, the 19th. This is, this is being sponsored by thousands of churches all across the nation, ours included. So we want you to be inviting people. We've put out some invite cards in the service. You can refer people to our online presence where they can see the invitation there. But hey, use this as an opportunity. Hey, tell them that, hey, this is a, a national happening. Say so that we want to invite you because this is and this is where you get to be the salt and light. By the way, I'm inviting you because I want you to be a part of something that's going on a national basis. This could be something that literally would spark revival in our country. So participate, invite some people, love some people, care about some people, and be salt and light in their life. Also, leadership dinner. Everybody in Believers Fellowship is part of a ministry. You're invited to this leadership dinner. It's. Uh, Catered meal, uh, Spring Creek Barbecue. We'll be at the Magnolia Campus, 7 o'clock Friday night. Uh, it, it, come and find out how your life is making a difference. See that your life really does matter. Uh, and we're going to be talking about some, some things that are coming up and sharing some good testimonies and some exciting reviews of what the Lord has done. So don't, if you're in a ministry, you need to be there, all right, and, 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 and come and be a part of this exciting thing. We, we also hand out our Faithful Servant Awards at the end of that banquet each year. So come see who... Uh, who, uh, who receives those awards, but most importantly, just come be a part of uh, the vision that God has called us to as a church. Listen, thank you for the time. Praying for a lot of people today. We all know of folks that are suffering today and hurting from COVID and the disease and sickness, but there's a lot of other stuff going on besides that. So be sure to get your prayer request turned into the prayer line. Prayer be of church whenever you have a prayer need. We'll pray for it. A lot of people will be praying for it. And continue to believe God for great things, not only in your church, but in your life today. Be the salt, be the light. God bless you. I will see you. Many of you I'll see Friday night. Some of you will see Wednesday night. Don't forget Wednesday night services. Revelation study at Magnolia Campus with Pastor Strickland, Pastor Gary Juarez at the, at the Spring Campus on the Harmony of the Gospel. If you're ready for our deep study in Scripture, go to either one of those services. It'll bless you. I look forward to seeing you. God is good all the time.